What I want to talk about today is an alternative to form a loop in a double line. Whether you're for forming a small short loop or you're forming a 10 foot double line or something like that. Everybody and their brothers heard about a bimini twist, okay? And a lot of fishermen have used the bimini twist for years, okay? It's a great knot, okay? But there are alternatives to the bimini twist, all right? And one of the ones that I use on a regular basis and have been using it for years is something that they call an Australian plat or an Australian braid, okay? Now, I'm not going to show you how to make it because there's tons of YouTube videos on how to do that. And there's even some on our website. But let me show you what an Australian braid is, okay? Now, I've done some separate ones here, okay, um, to, to show you what a finished Australian braid looks like, okay? Now, if you could come in and give me a close-up here, all right, you can see it. Now, I've done it to, to ex uh, exaggerate. I've done this one with 500 pound spectra, okay? This one's done with 80 pound uh, mono. This one's done with 60 pound mono. This is done with 130 pound braid, all right? And this is done, I believe, with 50 pound, all right? Because you can see all it is is exactly what it says. It's a braid, okay? It is a 100% knot if it's done right, just as it, uh, a bimini twist is. But this, in my opinion, is much easier to, uh, to, to make than the, the bimini twist, all right? Now, I've seen videos of guys demonstrating a bimini twist, and I've seen them, you know, where they take the tag in, they put it in their mouth, they do this, they got it between their knees, and this and that and this and that. This doesn't require any of that, okay? And you'll see that when you look up a few videos on forming the Australian braid. Now... Two things that make this completely different than the, the uh, Bimini twist. The first thing is, if you look at it, okay, you know how slim it is, nicely formed and whatnot, okay, you'll have no problem at all getting this through the guides, okay? The other thing is, if you look at this closely, all right, you see how it stretches? It's like a snubber. All right, you won't get that with a bimini twist, okay? So as far as creating um, more shock-absorbing connection, you can't beat this thing, all right? The Australian braid or plat, all right? That's the way to go, all right? Now, uh, I've been in business here 26 years. I tied a bimini twist once, all right? Years and years and years ago, and... Fortunately, I came across the Australian braid because I really didn't want to tie a bimini twist, all right? Um, I found it difficult. But this is very, very easy. Now, it's going to take a little longer, you know, to form this Australian braid. But um, tying knots and rigging tackle, rigging baits and everything like that, it shouldn't be about how fast you could do it, Okay. It should be about the quality of the, and the end result of what you're doing, okay? Um, so what I would do if I were you, I would take a look on YouTube, see if you can find a few of these Australian braid uh, videos and give it a shot. You won't be sorry.